Hey guys, Rachel here from ReachTheStamper.com and I made this super fun card for a very special boy whose birthday party we're going to tomorrow. And this is using, I want to get the name because <laughs> I always call them the wrong thing. This is using the Layering Alphabet Edgelets dies. If you've never seen these before, basically you get the entire alphabet and then there's also a couple little extra, there's a, um, what these are there's a colon there is an apostrophe or a semicolon depending which way we want to use it like a little directional carrot and then you also have this little guy here that basically helps you to place the letters in and this is how you place your letter so you pick each one so this would be the letter a for example and when you cut it out you get a positive so that would be this you get a positive and you get a negative so you can actually use both of these. So you could use cards with the positive, which is this. And then there's another way you can do it where you use the negative. But I'll get into showing you that the another day. This card was really fun, except I was trying to figure out one extra way to kind of jazz it up on the inside at the end. So what I thought I would show you is... Oh, please don't mind the Star Wars in the background. Show you how to do something with rainbow embossing powder. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to rub some embossing buddy all over this just to cut down on the static. And this is a retired stamp that I'm going to use, but this was the happy birthday stamp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a post-it and I'm going to block off the happy portion since I already have happy on the front. And I thought it'd be kind of neat because you could also do this with um, washi tape. But I thought it'd be kind of neat because the front of the card is in block letters and then the inside would be scripty. But he's young, so he probably, not that he won't care either way, but he'll like it regardless. So I'm going to take this, I blocked off the happy, and I'm going to ink this up with some Versamark. So I'm just inking up the birthday portion. And Versamark does say stay sticky for some time, so... We have that working for us. And now I'm gonna take off all of this. So I just have, if you can see there, the shiny part is just on the birthday. And then I'm gonna stamp this down here at the bottom. So kind of like when you open the happy part, the birthday will be underneath. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use, these are the in color embossing powders and I'm gonna do these one at a time, hopefully, and try not to make a huge mess in the process. And I forgot my, Handy dandy coffee filter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spill just a little bit of each color. Tap it off. Put it back. Oh my goodness. Sounds like the first order is going to march through the house. <laughs> and then I'm going to just continue. So now I'm going to do this with the pineapple punch. And I'm going to brush these little... dust particles off. You could do this also with a um, a little tiny paintbrush if you have one. So there's a little bit of yellow. And I'm going to tell you one thing I've noticed about these and this is the first time I've used these. So, oops, you do want to be careful. You probably should use just one. So if you're going from a dark to a light, there's a teeny bit of blue mixed up in there. Live and learn, so don't go in that or else use separate ones for each, um, separate coffee filters for each one. I'm gonna put a little bit of green. But I will say this, which is unusual, I'm gonna get out my paintbrush, that when you touch this, it actually does, if you touch it with your finger like I did there, it does leave just a trace of the pigment behind. So. I'm gonna have to do a little further testing with this because I am embarrassed to say I've had these since April and this is the first time I've used them. Okay, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use the orange. I'm gonna just go to the red, just because I'm trying to save time so Darth Vader doesn't march down the hall. All right, so that is a little bit of the lovely lipstick. Okay, and I just want to make sure, like I said, just make sure this is cleaned up oops here on the edges so I just kind of take my paintbrush I just move it away from the image a little bit and then kind of dust it 
Make sure I give it a nice hard flick. So when you do touch these, so just be advised, when you touch this with your finger, if you can see that little smudge, that is this, this must be really, really pigmented ink, but I think it's gonna look really super when we're done. So I will um, work with this a little bit more so I can tell you. And all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna heat up with my heat tool just to get this heated first. So rainbow embossing powder. How cool is that? So you could do this with any of your powders. I know we do have a lot of metallics, but I'm going to hit one more spot. And I'm going to hit it on the back just as well, just to heat it through. And that's it. There you go. So a rainbow heat embossed image. So we have happy on the front. And when they open it up, get the birthday. Super cool. So thanks guys for watching, and I'll be sure to do a video really soon to show you how to do these interlocking letters. They're really, really fun, but this is my first time playing with them, so I just want to fool around with them a little bit more just so I can show you what to do with them. Thanks for watching.